Welcome. These are instructions for Lab 105 using the microscope. You'll want to pause this as you need. We're going to go through this pretty quick. You'll find that if you open up your textbook and you go to Unit 1, you can use content up here, go into Unit 1 and you'll scroll down see unit 1.05 so with that you'll see some instructions in here that I really recommend that you download um, and use it will help you anytime you need to go through so you can download those You'll find that the material you need to answer a lot of the questions is in the reading section up here. Lesson 1, Introduction. So you'll definitely want to do that. To download the lab, you want to start by saving that. It's right here, Lab Report, using the microscope. If you click on that, it will download a Word document to you. And you'll want to enable and save that to your computer. I'm going to let you um, see the directions on how to rename that on your own. But there's some good instructions in there. And once we have the document, because we want the document to see what we're doing and also um, to put our answers in there. So you'll want to go in and do that. You'll find that the student guide has information. If you click through these, the student guide will give you uh, information on the steps also for how to do this lab. So what you can do is uh, print or save that to your computer. As you are going through, you definitely want to go in and read this material. Many questions will be answered through the reading material. I know I'm going through this fast. Remember to pause as you need to. What we're going to do is do part of um, the lab together so that you can see how I would do this lab. Right here, you'll notice it's on investigations using a microscope, page two of two. You're going to go into the virtual lab. If you click on this, it will open you to another link that you're going to click on. And this is where you need the student guide to help you. There's a tutorial here that will help you um, go through the lab. And I recommend that it will highlight things so that you can get used to moving around inside the lab. But what I'm going to do is begin the lab. I'm going to choose a color of glove. You can choose any one. In real life, the, the glove colors mean different things. But this is a virtual lab, so we're, um, we don't need to worry about that. I'm going to resize this so we can... Make sure it's all in the viewing area. So we're going to go in and start our lab. And um, you can go through these instructions. It says take the cover off. To do that, you're going to click and then just put it over here. Then you're going to pick up this lens paper and you're going to clean the lens. And you're just going to hold the mouse down and rub it back and forth. Then you can throw the lens paper in the trash. It's going to ask you if you want to. In this case, we don't want to reuse lens paper, so we're going to put yes. Then what we want to do is turn the microscope on and move the front. So we're going to move this. Turn our microscope on, and we're going to move this button right here 
to increase the light all the way. We want to make sure our lens is on the lowest objective and you'll need to uh, read your book as to why that is one of your questions you'll see when I click on it the colors change and the, there is um, a number on them so I have that on the lowest objective I have my slide turned up and I'm going to need to have um, some drawing and the lab instruction shows you how to set that up because what you're going to be doing is drawing several pictures both on the low lens and on the high lens and you see there's some slides over here there are more slides than um, are needed for this assignment I'm only asking you to look at two but feel free to use any or all of them so I'm going to pick up my slide and I pick that up just by clicking on it. I'm going to place the slide on there and then I'm going to use, you'll notice the hand changes. This is so I can slide things around and I'm going to try to get it so that it looks clear. I see that color. I'm going to use these. I'm just using my mouse to control everything going up and down trying to find where I can see it clearly. Oh, looky there. All right. So now what I'm going to do is draw that onion root in the low power lens. Once I've got that picture done, I'm going to move to high power. So there's three here. And you see when I sw switch to 10, it's a little blurry, but it says high, so I'm going to move it to high. And then I'm going to use this back control and turn it slightly and get it in focus. And it can take a little bit of effort there, and I'm going to move it a little bit so I can get a better view of what I want to draw. I'm trying to get a good one there. There we go. Okay, and then I am going to draw that picture. And I can still mess with this and try to get a little bit clearer, but I'm gonna draw that picture. Okay, and when I get that done, what I'm going to do is place my objective back on the 4X take the slide off, click it back down. Then I can move to the other slides. And I could go to the diatom and play with that one and the thread. But what I want to do is do for what I want to show you with the last little bit of our time is how to do a haze infusion slide. So over here, you see some plot supplies. There is a slide right there, an eyedropper, and some tweezers. So I'm going to pick up the dropper. I'm going to put it in the haze infusion. And I'm going to move it to the slide and put a drop on the slide. I'm then going to put down the tweez, or I'm sorry, the eyedropper. I'm just going to click the mouse. That's how I'm going to put it down. And I'm going to pick up the tweezers. And over here you see this white square. That's the lens cover. And I'm going to put that on here. Now in biology class you would learn how to do a wet mount slide. This is, this is it. You can't do it in a lot of detail on the virtual lab, so I'm not going to teach you necessarily about the ideas of how to do it, but it's an important and fun skill to do to learn how to put on a slide uh, to make a wet mount and then put on a slide cover. So I'm going to take my I'm going to take my slide, put it on, and then I'm going to start doing the same thing. I'm going to move it around. Oh look, I'm starting to see something. And then I'm going to adjust my microscope here. Let's 
That's looking pretty good. Slide it around, see if I get a really good picture of something. And I'm just looking for a color. Things, okay. Okay, then this is my picture on the brine shrimp with the haze infusion. So it says draw it on 4X. When I'm done with that, I'm gonna switch it up to the high and I'm going to adjust. Looks like I need to move things around. Oh, look. My fine adjustment, I'm going to use my fine adjustment in the front. It's a reason that it's asking me if I want to keep using the back. So think about that. That's one of the questions for this lab. And I'm just going to keep messing with that until I get it as close as I can. Sometimes it's easier to go back in and get it like at the 10x. See how it's, and, and see if I can get it clearer and then move it to the 40X. And you're just gonna draw what you see. Then, when you get all done with that, what you can do in there is to go back to those instructions, check out all the questions, answer them, uh, check your directions, look at how to insert, because in this case you'll need to draw so that you neither either insert your pictures or try to draw them in Microsoft Word. In the instructions, I have a link for both of those. I find inserting a picture is a lot easier to do, then I'm going to save that work, and then I'm going to submit it to the Dropbox. So when I want to get out of this lab, because I think I'm all done, I've taken the time to get my pictures, I've uh, worked with the drawings, I've, I'm pretty sure I'm done. What I'm going to do is, well, I can move my scope back down to 4x. Oops. And I can either turn it off, clean it up, or I can just hit home. And it will ask me if I want to reset my work. Now notice here it says your current work will be lost. Are you sure you want to reset? So do make sure you have everything before you exit out. In this case, I'm going to say yes. And it will take me back to the beginning and I can hit X. And I'm going to go back in to the lab. I can hit the content. It will take me back here. When I've double checked everything, I can go in and submit my lab to the Dropbox. Right there, and it will give you, uh, it will give you the instructions on how to use that. If you're not sure how to do any of these things, remember in the table of content under student resources, it will show you it has video links and instructions on how to do things. That's where you're going to find information on inserting. It's also going to find help you find information on submitting to the Dropbox. If you have any questions, please let me know.